Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspi's 20 box going, going, gun baseball mixer. It's a random team break with a wax party giveaway at the end as well. We're getting closer and closer to filling that up. 30 spots, everyone gets a team in the MLB, a random team, no vet common ship, and a, a lot of nice boxes here. Big thanks to this group for getting into it. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And we only ended up doing one filler, so I appreciate that as well. And congrats again to the winners of that filler. All 30 are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams four and a two six times. One, two, three, four, five, and once more, sixth and final time. We got Barry down to Brittany. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got the Cardinals down to the Pirates. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Barry with the Cardinals, Jeremy with the Rangers, Lonnie, you got my Dodgers, Ray with the Red Sox, Baker with the Rockies, Corey with the Marlins, Michael with the Diamondbacks. Timothy with the Braves, Darren with the Blue Jays, Nick with the Giants, Brittany with the Royals, Ryan with the Phillies, Lucas with the Padres, TJ with the Mariners, Kevin with the White Sox, Roil with the Twins, Jamie with the Yankees, Scott with the Orioles, Brian with the Nationals, Matthew with the A's, Richard with the Angels, Nick with the Rays, Dusty with the Mets and Reds, Asa with the Tigers, Diego with the Brew Crew, Scott with the Astros, Jamie with the Cubs, Michael with the Guardians, and Brittany with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's get all this on one page. Let's alphabetize by team. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any... We're going to pause the video for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll get in on this big break here. So stick around. We will be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, a deal did get done between Ryan and Dusty. So Ryan is out of the Philly spot and gets his Mets. That's his team. Put a T there for trade. Dusty is now in the Philly spot. So put T next there for trade. So let's see, let's see how that trade works out for both parties. Now let's let's print and rip. It's like uh, Dallas is cruising here. They're up 93-65 with just under five minutes left in this game. They're going to take a 3-2 lead. All right, so here's the, the final list. Hot off the presses. Thanks, everybody for getting in. All right, so let's just start grabbing grabbing some boxes here. So we've got a lot to do. We've got Bowman Platinum from 2014. So we're just, just gonna kinda fly through this, not really go in any particular order. So we'll jump around different products, different years, all that good stuff. And kick back and relax, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a, a pretty long break. Um, a lot of base-heavy products here. If you're, uh, if you're watching live, you're stuck with me. But if you're watching a replay of this, um, hopefully I, I will have remembered to do a recap at the end of this break. So you'll see an autograph relic recap at the end. Maybe some, some other highlights. Maybe some cards that are like numbered really low. Like 10 and under, something like that. Just in the interest of time, I'm not going to be sleeving all of the numbered cards. I'll help shave some time off of this, this mixer here. But our shipping team will take care of all that. No vet commons ship, which I think is understandable.
Good luck. Let's see what we got in this first box here. Going back in time to 2014. So we'll see how many of these, how many of these guys do we actually remember. There's uh, Herrera, 170 out of 150. Dilson Herrera, I kind of remember him. 170 out of 199. Some game used memorabilia in there for the Mets. So early on, uh, Ryan Harold draws first blood in the trade with his Metropolitans. I remember Byron Buxton. There he is. There's Manny Machado. Gold car, not numbered though. Top prospects. Oscar Deveris. I think Oscar Deveris is no longer with us, right? That might be an RIP. And we've got Scott Shebler. I kind of remember him. I think Scott Shebler ended up in a trade to the Reds at some point. This Dodgers edition going to line. It's Joey Gallo. Got a power die cut here. That's pretty fun. Let's set that aside. Got rookie Marcus Simeon. There's a Mariners Chris Taylor. It was kind of a it was kind of a bust for the Mariners and became a reclamation project for for the Dodgers. There's five out of five or five out of fifty Joey Gallo. That is Rangers edition. There's a Mike Trout die cut for the Angels. Hunter Dozier X Fractor. Jonathan Scope, Matt Davidson, Corey Seager. And we've got Zach Lee to 390. I remember him. I don't think he really panned out, but. There's Wilmer Flores. Trevor Story, and a second auto, 68 out of 199, Devin Travis for the Tigers' Asa with Detroit. And a little Tony Gwynn card, facsimile autograph. Josh Stewart. All right, box one in the books. All right, let's just start just grabbing boxes right at the top. Now we'll go to 2016. All right, 2016 Donner's Optic Baseball. Good luck. Looks like Dallas is going to cruise to victory here. There's four minutes left, and they're up 94 to 66. I think maybe it's time to switch away from this channel, maybe catch the end of the Dodgers Diamondbacks game here. Dodgers in Arizona, and the Dodgers are. Where's the score? Is my printer hiding the score? Dodgers are up 4 0, bottom of the eighth. Sort of a lighter day in baseball today, right? The uh, in Texas Rangers beat the Astros six to two. Simeon Seager 
RBI singles for Texas and a 6-2 win over the Astros. Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager had RBI singles in a decisive seventh inning. Uh, I was on the Cardinals in this game. They, they were up 2-0 right up until the ninth inning until Ryan Harold's Mets came back with five runs in the ninth. Top of the ninth. Arenado's error helps Mets stun the Cardinals with a 5-2 five -two, five -two with five in the ninth. There's an error, an uncharacteristic Nolan Arenado error. And then pincher Dom Smith, Dominic Smith hustled for an infield single that drove in two pivotal runs, et cetera, et cetera. What happened in, in Toronto? Blue Jays beat the Red Sox 6-2. to two. That's Ted's Red Sox. He's on the Instagram stream right now, at Jaspi's Breaks, Instagram Live, if you want a personal box. This mixer here is going to pretty much take us to the end of the night, I think. But Beaujette breaks the tie with his first Grand Slam. There's an eighth inning Grand Slam, first career Grand Slam. All right, next box, we'll check some other scores too. We got three out of three, Andy Pettit autograph. Wow, nice low number there. That goes to Jamie. And the Bronx Bombers, the New York Yankees. There you go, and out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Yeah, racing almost as bad as the Sixers loss. Jazz. There's Gregory Polanco. Autograph for the Pirates. That'll be for Brittany and the Buckos. Greg Bird, Corey Seager rated rookie card. Let's set that aside. We'll have that sleeved up and top loaded. Got a blue power alley, Chris Bryant to 149 for the Cubs. Caleb Cowart is your other autograph. Rookie auto for the Halos. That's going to go to Richard J. Yeah, since it's a longer break, we'll, we'll end up unpacking some NBA playoff action too. There is a Tyler Duffy rated rookie on card autograph. It's for Minnesota. That'll go to. Rowill with the Twins. There's an Aaron Nola, Aaron Nola rated rookie card there. He's pretty good. And we got Mikhail Franco. Is this is a hot box? We got this is our one, two, three, four. This is our fifth. I think this was a hot autograph hot box right here, boys and girls. Nice Mikhail Franco. Dusty with the Phillies. So far, each team or each trader, Dusty and Ryan each have an autograph. Rated rookie Trey Turner, Nats edition, going to Brian. And there's a Bryce Harper MVP variation. You know, back when I, I remember this, back when. The, uh, and that's Nationals edition back in 2016. Um, back uh, when the Phillies signed Bryce Harper, I asked everybody, will Bryce Harper win another MVP again in his career? I want to say most people said no. But knocked out another one. All right, next box. What are, next game. The Phillies beat the Rockies in Philadelphia, eight to two. Harper, Hoskins lead Phillies past error-prone Rockies. And yeah, Rockies with three errors in the game. Bryce Harper homered, drove in a couple runs. Reese Hoskins, a few hits. Giants beat the Brew Crew in Milwaukee, four to two. Luis Gonzalez hits his first major league homer, a two-run drive, two outs in the ninth. And I think there's still two games that are... No, the Angels game just went final. They shut out the Guardians. 
Michael Lorenzen with the win. He improves to 2-1 and one with a 2.93 ERA. Shane Bieber takes the loss, falling to 1-1, one one, still has a 2.82 ERA. Rafael Iglesias with his third save of the season. And Dodgers still, uh, still leading. It's the top of the ninth. So last half frame for the Dodgers, and the Diamondbacks will give it a shot in the bottom of the ninth. But Walker Bueller apparently was dealing. Diamondbacks only managed two hits. Yeah, Walker Bueller went eight innings, two hits, 10 strikeouts, no earned runs. He's at about 98 pitches, so yeah, I think it'll go to, go to Craig Kimbrell, I think, at the bottom of the night. All right, so now what is this? This is 2016 Bowman Platinum. Mike Trout. There's a Verdugo to 99, Dodgers edition. And there's a uh, Javier Guerra. And that's Friars edition. That's going to go to Lucas with the Padres. There's a rookie, Corey Seager. Turned out to be pretty good. got a Cornelius Randolph, 25 out of 75. Phillies, that'll be for Dusty and the Phillies. Christian Arroyo to 150 for the Giants. Trey Turner rookie card. They're saying no high fives for Walker Bueller with 98 pitches. So does that mean he's going to come out? The rare complete game? It's Cole Hamels to 250. Wow, he's walking back out. The rare complete game possibility. All right, now... We've got uh, Bowman Sterling from 2012. Three autos in each pack? I should have, this should have been a box maybe further in the back, but that's okay. Some nice stuff here. Oh, redemption. Redemption is going to be expired, obviously. We'll still send it to the team. All right. So there's Jonathan Singleton, and there's autograph one. That's Barrett Barnes, Pirates prospect. I guess we can kind of see who's. This is 2012, so we'll we'll see who's panned out and who hasn't. This guy, no. Pirates, that's for Brittany. Uh, Victor Roche. No, I, haven't, I don't recall him. Brewers. Diego. And what about... What about Andrew Heaney? Marlins edition of Andrew Heaney. He's still kicking around in the league. He's with the Dodgers now. One out of 25. He bounced around a little bit. Maybe a stint with the Angels. Now with the Dodgers, who... Using a using a real uh, a really nice slider now. 
Just an advertising card. Zach Wheeler still around. Ooh, and a dual autograph coming out. We got Will Middlesbrook. He's played played a little bit. Ray with the Red Sox. And ooh, this is nice. Look at that. This is for Brittany and the Pirates. Both going to you. There's Jameson Tyon. And Cancer Survivors with the Yankees now doing all right. And Garrett Cole, Pirates Edition. 17 out of 25, dual auto. Nice. Next up is Tyler Naquin. He's still around. That's for Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the Guardians. We got Richard Schaefer. Jonathan Scope, he's still around. Orioles, Scott with the O's. And the expired redemption, Corey Seeger. That's a nice one. That Dodgers edition back in 2012. That'll go to Lonnie. Nice Bryce Harper. Rookie card to 199. Nationals. Brian T. Mitch Hanniger. Back when he was a Brewer to 199. He's still around. Diego with the Brew Crew. And Walker Bueller. About to pitch a complete game. He's one out away. There's Chris Owings. Diamondbacks prospect, a former prospect going to Michael. We got Sean Nolan. Minnesota, a uh, Minnesota, Toronto. That'll be for Darren. Cole Calhoun to 50. That is um, Cole Calhoun, oh, the Angels edition. There's James Ramsey, Cardinals, Barry. Got Kevin Plowicki for the Mets. Is Kevin Plowicki still? He must be, I feel like he's still kicking around in the league. Ryan H. with the Metropolitans. Stephen Piscotti, I think, is still around. He might still be with the Cardinals. Barry with St. Louis. Nolan Arenado to 199. And their last few, Brett Jackson, Cubs. Don't remember him. That'll be for Jamie. Are they going to give... Walker Bueller, one more at bat. He just gave up a single, third hit of the day. Ooh, nice Joey Gallo. Nice. Kind of looks young and uh, skinny there. He really filled into that frame. Nice Joey Gallo. Rangers. Jeremy with Texas. Ryan H. thinking Plowecki. Red Sox, he thinks. Bo uh, Bosock. And there's Nolan Fontana. Astros, that'll be for Scott. Not bad. All right, more base-heavy stuff. This is 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball. Yeah, it was a fun box of Sterling. It was really nice. It's a strike. He's going to get a strikeout to complete this game, the rare complete game. A lot of Dodgers fans in San Diego. Oh, this would be the first complete game of the year, according to Joe Davis, Dodgers broadcast. Well, and he pops it up to center. Walker Bueller, perfect game. He's got a smile on his face. He likes that. Huh? 
107 pitches. That's, I think that's kind of how you have to do it. You 10 strikeouts and 107 pitches? That's all, kind of a low number for that many pitches. Anyway, 108 pitches. You kind of have to do that, I think, if you're going to be allowed to complete games. Yeah, the zero walks helps that pitch count stay low. It's almost like those old, uh, the only way managers will let you complete a game, you got to kind of have to do a... Uh, what do they call though? I think it was a Greg Maddox complete game is what they would say. I think Maddox has a number of complete games that are under 100 pitches, which is kind of incredible. So we're, we flash forward to 2020. Good luck, everybody. And we got Tyler Alexander, rookie auto popping quickly. Asa. Yeah, Bueller is a beast. There's Nick Solak, purple chrome to 299. So this is obviously a parallel, so this will ship, even though they're not numbered, in case you were wondering. There's Walker Bueller. Luis Robert rookie card. We'll set that aside. Well, and that's his first career complete game shutout, too. I thought, there was, I thought he already had one. I guess not. Hey, there's Dontrell Willis in the uh, Dodgers studio. Dodgers uh, TV network picked up a, added a lot of people to their roster. I think Dontrell Willis is, uh, is in the studio. He may do some color commentary. Um, Eric Harros is doing some more games. With the Dodgers play-by-play -play team, Joe Davis. There's Rogelio Armenteros for Scott and the Astros. The Dodgers also, uh, they added Jessica Mendoza. Some of you may remember her from the ESPN days. And she was doing the, she was providing the color next to Joe Davis's play-by-play -play in the San Diego series. All right, we got the Ben Baller designed Tops Chrome. other baseball headlines we have here. Trout hits his 50th career triple on a check swing. MRI reveals improvement in Jacob deGrom's shoulder. That's good. Corbin Burns had 11 Ks today. Phillies top prospect Bryson Stott option to Triple A. Adley Rushman's going to make his 2020 debut on a rehab assignment. He was injured to start the season, so hopefully, hopefully he'll be there and be good. Joey Bart and uh, Adley Rushman, two two top of the draft catchers. I think back to back years, right? At Rushman and then Joey Bart. 
couple good young catchers to keep an eye out on. Oh yeah, Ty France, AL Player of the Week, says Chad. I think Bellinger was a NL Player of the Week, I want to say. Everyone thought he was washed. Oh, he's been hitting really well. Corey Seager die cut. There's a Juan Soto. Like a high leg kick right there. So John Lester, Nationals Edition, number to 50. We've got Kyle Schwarber, Cubs Edition to 99. Yeah, Rex does owe us. Z and Anderson, 70 out of 75. Rookie Blue for the Braves, Tim. Joey Bart right there. And there is Albert Pujols, Angels edition, 45 out of 50. Got some orange, orange auto. Dylan Carlson, nice. Rookie auto for the Cardinals. Barry with the Redbirds. Kyle Lewis, and there's a Tanner Hawk, two out of five. Oh, color match, red parallel for the Red Sox, Ray. With the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. How is... Uh, What's Tanner Hawk doing this season? Not bad. Three starts, 15 innings, 13 strikeouts, a 2.87 ERA, a 1-1 one one record. Yeah, not not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, that's a nice Ben Baller box. Let's let's go to let's go to London, England, where all of the cards have the Union Jack. See, uh, Albert Pujols has 681 home runs. Does he get 700 this year? What does everyone think? I think he's got a few already. I hope he does. That would be cool to see. 700 home runs. A-Rod fell four short of 700 home runs. Yeah. 696. Only three players have over 700. Barry Bonds, Henry Aaron, Babe Ruth.
Miggy's got 500. I'm not sure if he's going to get to six. Pool Hoss has 681. Not counting today's stats. I don't know if he had a home run today, but. These baseball reference stats are updated the next day. I don't know, whatever 700 minus 681 is, Joe. Is that 19? I think he's been averaging like maybe a dozen homers. I think it's going to be really close. It's just all flipped around. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I think we'll just have to deal with it. So basically, these these are these are the commons, but the the UK edition just pops a a flag on there. Here's an out of 25, Josh Donaldson, 9 out of 25. And that's Twins edition going to Rovido. This will be part of the non-baseball or non-sport group because there's going to be some in Gypsy Queen and uh, Allen and Ginter. So winner take all on those. To 75, Lewis Brinson for Miami. Joe's going to go with the under. What does everyone else think? Albert Pujols, 19 homers away. There's Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Dustin May, rookie. Does he get it? Or does he fall short? Last season, been between the. Well, he had 17 last year in between the Dodgers and the Angels. The season before that, he only played 39 games, had six homers. But the season before that, 131 games, 23 homers. Complete game shutout. Real time saying he was two sporting that hat. I'm not sure that seems out of context. Was there something? Was there a bit of text that I missed, maybe? Luis Robert rookie card. There he is right there, Miguel Cabrera. There's Aquino, 79 out of 99. A top hat sports related joke. I still don't get it. <laughs> Were we talking about hats? Top hats? Out of Patrick Corbin, 74 out of 99 for the Nationals. 
And that is that for the UK edition. All right, let's go to some Ginter, 2021 Ginter Chrome. What's the next active player that could hit, that could get a milestone? Uh, Nelson Cruz. 41-year-old Nelson Cruz, 18 years in the bigs, is at 451 homers. Does he get 500? He has a couple this year already, in, in about 65 at bats. Does he get five? We got 49 homers away, so that's got to be. What, what did he? How many did he hit last year? Thirteen with. No, he had he he was traded. That's right. He had a total of thirty-two home runs last year. Nineteen with Minnesota, thirteen with Tampa Bay. Yeah, Joe Joe P thinks he'll get to five. I think so too. Actually, he's he's got at least a, especially with that mile. If he if you if you cared, I I suppose you would care about that at this stage of your career. He could still get. Yeah, I think. He'll probably play one more year next year. The DH helps in the, in the NL, so there's more opportunities for him to. Yeah, I say he gets it. I say he gets it. What about next active player with a bunch of home runs? Wow, we have to go way down the list. Robinson Cano has 335 home runs. I feel like. Uh, vet commons don't ship, so whatever the commons are won't ship in this skin turn. What about Robin Cano? What milestones does he get to? He's at 335. 400? Maybe. Probably. probably? I, don't, I think 500's out of the question. But 4? 4, Got Eddie Matthews to 150. And the world's largest desert, Sahara Desert. Is Luis Robert, 87 out of 99. And world's largest continent, Asia. Willie Mays to 99. Willie Mays Hayes here. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, man. You may run like Mays, but you hit like S. <laughs> I've been cut already? Yeah, I don't know how many more years Robinson Cano has left in him. Like he's got to get close to, he's got to get close to two, uh, close to four hundred home runs. He's at three. Oh, what is twenty twelve Gypsy Queen? Two autographs, two relic cards per box. We've got some minis in the middle. Twelve. 
Was that Trevor? Trevor who? Trevor somebody? Next guy down on the home run list, active player home run list, Joey Votto at 331 home runs. He, may, he could get close to four. Justin Upton at 324. No, he's, he's, he's not even playing. He got cut. Longo at 317. And then next down with a shot at a lot of home runs, if he's healthy. Mike Trout. He's at 314 home runs. Oh, there was a dude that looked like Trevor Lawrence in the last one. How many home runs does Mike Trout get? I think he's got the best shot at 500 home runs. I think Joe's commenting on uh, Votto. I think he's definitely getting 400, right? Trout's just got to stay healthy. Trout could get to five, right? It's only 200 home runs. Oh, only. But if he has a nice season this year, I'm assuming he's, he's got a lot of years left. Who's after Mike Trout? This is active home runs. After Mike Trout, Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt to two, 280 home runs. He's played about the same number of seasons as Trout, 12, but he's four years older. He's 34. Trout's 30. All right. Old Gypsy Queen. Let's go. We got uh, Ian Kinsler, remember him? It's Derek Jeter mini. <laughs> yeah, Go uh, Paul Paul Goldschmidt, Joe P's thinking not five. He's not going to get five, but. Yeah, I can see four as well. There's Moonshots, Mike Stanton. Back when he was Mike Stanton. And our autograph, Kyle Seeger. That's for the Mariners. That's going to be for TJ and the M's. Frame Ty Cobb, that'll go to the Tigers. We got Ike Davis, just a different mini parallel for the Mets. Chad, Chad hates Kyle Seeger. It's like throw that auto away. Apologies to Kyle Seeger if uh, if he's watching. Got a Pablo Sandoval relic. Well, Kyle Seeger did did hang him up recently. He finished his career with a 251 batting average, almost 1,400 hits, 242 homers, 807 RBIs, 55 steals. Lifetime 251. 
locked in an all-star. Top 20 in MVP voting in 2014. And uh, 12th in MVP voting in 2016. And we got a mini jersey, Victor Martinez for the Tigers. That's for Asa. And a redemption, a Jared Weaver redemption. It's Jared Weaver, 2012, Jared Weaver, an angel? Yeah, he was. In fact, he spent 11 seasons with the Angels. He spent his last season with the Padres. He was a 20-game winner at one point. Actually, in 2012, he won 20 games. It's expired, unfortunately, but we'll still send it to you, Richard. Bunch of little extra minis here. All right. Starting to make a dent in this. Let's go with 2011 Bowman Platinum. Let's go back in time a little bit. <laughs> Chad loves the moment Jared Weaver hit Kyle Seeger for being a D. Freddie Freeman on the box here. And then it says, look for autograph cards of Bryce Harper. That was a like big selling point, I guess. at um, home run milestones. What about... What about hits? So Albert Pujols already has 3,000 hits. Miguel Cabrera is active. He's got 3,002 now. That, was, that just happened recently. That was awesome. Next behind, who can hit uh, 3,000? Next closest is Robinson Cano. He's at 2,600 hits. I don't think he's getting to 3,000. Um, Yadier Molina is retiring this year. He's at 2,116. That's, that's still a lot for a catcher. Joey Votto's at 2,000. I don't know if he's going to hit 3,000 hits. Who has a realistic chance of getting 3,000? Um, Altuve, maybe? He's 12 seasons in, 32 years old. He's got 1,783 1, hits. Not sure if he's going to quite get there. Freddie Freeman, no, he's 32. He's, he's holding at 17. 
1723. Goldschmidt at 15. Uh, what about Machado? Manny Machado is only it's only 29. Has 1446 hits. Trout's at 1433. Is the mixer, Greg? Look at all the mixture of boxes back there. The the mixer. And if you look at our schedule, that's always pinned in the chat. I'll let you know exactly what we're doing. We're doing the uh, 20 box going, going, gone mixer. Chad's thinking maybe Juan Soto. Yeah, we're just kind of thinking who else can join the 3,000 hit club as well. We talked about home runs already. 3,000 hit club. The Shelby Miller Cardinals. That's going to be for Barry. Right, yeah, injuries. Like, I think uh, I think Tr Mike Trout will probably will probably get some uh, some milestone home run numbers, four, five. Home, but I think I think he's gonna have a problem if he doesn't stay healthy. Maybe those hits milestones may not be may not be quite there. Yeah, Juan Soto's not a bad call, Chad, because, yeah, Chad's saying he heard a stat. He heard a stat where there were like 49 rookies in 2022 Series 1, and Juan Soto's younger than like 46 of them. Remember, he got called up real early, but then just started producing right from the get-go. We got Deck McGuire, 22 out of 99 for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Darren. So Juan Soto started his career in 2018, played 116 games, 121 hits, played almost a full season, 153 hits in 2019, and the shortened season, 54 hits in 47 games in 2020. Last season, 157 hits in 151 games. So his 162-game average in those five seasons kind of which is sort of that number is a little depressed because of the uh, the pandemic shortened season, but 168 hits he's averaging. Or no, I think the 162 games will average that out too. Will average out shorter seasons. So 162 games, 168 hits. If Soto plays till 38. He'll need to average 166 per year to get to 3,000. He's a little ahead of that right now. Yeah, 
And we got a John McDonald. Piece of his lumber, his autograph, 77 out of 1166. Big number there. That'll be for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Darren. Ginter. He, he did indeed, Steve. Did indeed have a farm. All right. You know what's uh, you know what's in danger? What's in danger is is the pitcher that can get two hundred wins. Pretty rare now. Active pitchers are two over two hundred wins. Uh, Justin Verlander is two twenty seven. Zach Granke is two nineteen. Scherzer, 193 wins. I'm sure he gets. I'm sure he gets over 200 wins by the end of his career or the end of this season. That is, Kershaw's at 188. I'm not sure if he's going to win enough to get 200 wins this season. I mean, if he does, he might, he might be winning a Cy Young this year. But no, I think I think maybe next year for Kershaw wins to get to 200. I think he'll get there. But who's behind that? I don't, is Wainwright going to get 200? I don't think so. He's at two, 186, and I think he's retiring this year. I mean, if Wainwright can hit 200 this year, that means he's probably in Cy Young conversation too. That means he's having a great season. David Price at 155. He's not going to get there. Quaidle at 135. No. Madison and Bumgarner, 127. No. Garrett Cole. Does Garrett Cole get to 200 wins? He's only 10 seasons in, has 118 wins already. Oh, is that only 12? Sorry, I can't math, Chad. I thought that was 22. No, then Kershaw should hit 200 by the end. He should have like, he should be 14, 15 wins. Oh, then maybe, maybe Wainwright too. Yeah, I, was, I, I just can't math. Because I thought that was 22 wins, and then I was like, wow, yeah, if Kershaw gets 22 wins, and that, was probably, that probably means he's in the Cy Young conversation. But no, the math is wrong. If he just needs 12 wins to get to 200, he'll be fine. But I don't know if, uh, especially with, with pitchers really not going super deep into games anymore, I don't know if that 200 milestone is really going to, I think maybe the, the line in the sand. There's Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. Still time to redeem it. That'll be for Kevin. I mean, do you, do you move the line now in the sand? Pitchers from here on out going forward is 150 wins more of, uh, more of the milestone now?
We've got a out of five red parallel right here. So this is going to be part of that uh, part of that non non baseball group. So someone's going to get a train whistle here. That's a good question, Chad. Chad's asking, does Felix Hernandez, is King Felix, make the Hall of Fame? His career stats, 342 ERA, 169 wins, 2, 2,524 strikeouts, a 1206 whip. He's got a Cy Young, six All-Stars, two ERA titles. What does everyone think? Is he a Hall of Famer? I think he, I don't think he's like a, uh, he might be first ballot Hall of Famer. I think he is. I think the question is, uh, I don't think he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Joe Pizzle's going to say no. They just sat a few years ago saying it was the most unlucky pitcher of all time. Um, I think part of it, remember, Hall of Fame isn't necessarily about stats. It's a popularity contest. So, I don't know. I feel like King Felix did well with the media. Like, Chad, if uh, you, need to be on the, you need to be on the King Felix Hall of Fame committee. You gotta, you gotta put because that's what, what, you know, that influences the voters, the baseball writers of America. If he's got, if he campaigns well, But I think what are the, baseball reference has like those similar scores right there. I think the different Hall of Fame metrics they kind of have them a little borderline ish. You know, he does he does kind of similar scores, does kind of match up with with a few Hall of Famers. Well, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. If uh, if King Felix was a... Hey, Teddy. Teddy's a baseball guy. Teddy, is King Felix, Felix Hernandez, is he a Hall of Famer? Oh. No. No? Teddy's from New York. It's East Coast bias. Manny Machado, 99. Not even, I mean, I'm not I saying, mean, I'm not saying uh, first ballot, but I'm just saying the, he, uh, you know, maybe like he fifth, fifth or sixth ballot. for the Mariners how many years in a row? Something crazy like... Almost, almost every like, year of his career, yeah. Years. No, I love King Felix, but he's not a Hall of Famer, man. All right, Teddy says no. Yeah, Teddy might be mad that King Felix didn't go to the didn't go to the Yankees. There's Josh Rojas. Steve uh, Steve who Steve Locke, who's a Twins guy, saying if Burt Blylevin is in, Felix King Felix has got to be in. Jared Oliva to 149 for the Pirates. There's the Crone Zone, Jay Cronenworth for the Padres. That'll be for Lucas. Joe P's not from New York. He's in Arizona and wouldn't play for... 
I wish he would have gotten those. Wish he would have gotten those. Uh, maybe a couple milestone numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, per the schedule, no. I think this is going to bring us pretty close to the end of the end of the night by the time all said and done. There's Ryan Jeffers to 299. Um, that is for that's for Will with uh, Minnesota. Yeah, and that filler is still at 18 as well. So we're getting there on that Phoenix, though. I think a lot of pre-orders, new releases has kind of distracted people from that, but, but we'll get there. Hey, a Corey Seager autograph for the Dodgers. So Lonnie, you didn't get that prospect autograph because that was an expired redemption, but you still get a live one here. Nice Corey Seager. X-Factor Auto. 67 out of 171. Uh, and Corey Seager, I think, has started off the season. In, oh, I thought he had a I thought he had a good start of the season. He has t hitting 241, one home run, 14 hits, so not not quite. A little bit of a slow start. All right, uh, let's get 2021 update series. Brandon Ryan, what's up? You tried octopus on pizza, delicious. He says, interesting. Let me try that. But. King Felix, he, he had a season where he went 19-5 in 2009. That's pretty impressive. Won an ERA title the next year. And then even in his late 20s, knocked out another ERA title. Double-digit win for almost his entire career. And, but then sort of tailed off pretty quickly. I wish he would have had maybe, I wish the, that 31, 32, 33 season, year old season, kind of wish that he finished stronger there and I wish we would have been able to maybe push, get maybe a three or four more seasons under his belt. Wish he had like, those kind of milestone numbers, right? Maybe a sub three ERA, maybe push closer to 200 wins, which maybe he shouldn't have got. Maybe that's not really his fault though because of the team, some of the teams he was on. There's Brent Honeywell. Nice Juan Soto, that's a great picture of him. Tyson Miller. Taylor Trammell. Satchel Page die cut. Ronald Acuna Jr. Are those black? I don't know if those black golds are shorter printed or not, but I'll set that aside. Khalil Lee. Logan Gilbert purple. Joey Bart purple. Yeah, I, I mean I think that's only over. It's only uh, two st well, over two starts, Joe. Three starts, thirteen innings. His uh his last start, I think he went like six it really that really helped. He went like six or seven perfect innings or something like that. Before his pitch count got up there, but I think that last game really, really helped. First game I think was so so. 
start two was better and then start three was really good. Yeah, I mean, Walker Buehler three hit them, so with Tony Gonson still on track. Yeah, three, 13 innings, three starts, four innings to start. I think it was a matter of stretching him out. I think he only, I think he only threw like three innings his first start, then they stretched him to... Maybe another three innings. I think last start he went six or seven innings. So I think the, his pitch count must have gone gone up on some of those games. That must be the reason why. But yeah, three innings his first start, four innings his next start, six innings to start after that. So I, I think it was just stretching him out. Yeah, Dustin May is supposed to come back this season. I think he's been, he's already been doing bullpen sessions, so he's already throwing. So I think he'll be fully cleared for, for like a rehab start, maybe by the All Star break. If they're, I think they're they're kind of planning post All Star break. There's Davey Garcia at a 250. And there's Andy Young, 67 out of 99 for the Diamondbacks. Michael for the Snakes. Oh, there you go. Joe Pizzle saying he's in Arizona. Dustin May will be here next week on a rehab start. Nice. There's Kyle Lewis, 300. Maybe some additional rehabbing. I think they're planning on, well, they're planning on being cautious with him. There's Luis Garcia to 99, 66 out of 99. I think they're being cautious with him first off. Probably some extra conditioning, some extra works, a couple rehab starts. If there's no setbacks, they're hoping all-star break. A little bit before, a little bit after. There's Lewin Diaz. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're only two fillers away from doing a dual case break of Top's Finest Baseball. That's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, we might have time to do at least one of those fillers tonight, if you'd like. And then that would just leave us with one for tomorrow. And then we can do that double header as well. All right, let's go with some Bowman Inception. Oh, Joe P. talking about the month of May. May will be here next week. Nice one, Joe. That's a good one. Well played. All right. Inception. Got Hernandez, Mackenzie Gore, Bryce Turing. And here are the autographs. Jared Oliva. Nope, Jared Jones. Nine out of 50. I just saw Jared and I just ran with it. That goes to uh, Brittany for the Pirates. I thought, yeah, you got you fooled Greg too. There's uh, Gilberto Jimenez, 204 out of 600. That'll be for the Bo Sox, that's for Ray. There's Trey Cruz, 48 out of 75. Yeah, that went over my head, Joe. I'm, I'm locked in on this break. So I'm usually not, not not too quick. Maybe if I wasn't breaking, I'd be able to catch that. All right, and we got Tristan Houses right there. Oh, 
All right. Uh, let's keep going. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Sapphire Edition 2021 Update Series. I guess we're going to close with 2021 Topps Chrome Black. Greg saying, Joe P, right, May will be here next week, and the Suns won't. Whoa. Shots fired. Out of 50, Alex Kirloff, rookie auto. It's a nice one for uh, Minnesota. That's going to be for Ruiz. How's Alex Kirloff doing? I think he's a former number one overall pick. A lot of expectations for him, right? Yeah. Drafted by the Mariners first round. Oh, 15th overall. I thought he was a lot higher than that. He's their first round pick. Right now, not doing so well. 17 at-bats, just one hit. Is he injured? Oh, he's hurt. Yeah, I was going to say he must be on the IL because he only has 17 at-bats. What's the... Uh, Steve, you're a Twins guy, right? What's the... I feel like he's got a big ceiling, but... You think, he, you think he's going to reach that ceiling? Ooh, we got some orange here. Ooh, got orange, orange. Color match. Freddie Galvis. 11 out of 25. All right, let's get into some clearly authentic. Let's go older, clearly authentic first, 2019. All right, we got Danny Jansen, 10 out of 99. So I like Clearly Authentic, definitely has the the, the acetate vibe, so pretty cool look, I think. That's for the Blue Jays, that's gonna go to Darren. 2020 Clearly Authentic. And it's Patrick Corbin for the Nationals. That'll be for Brian. There you go, Brian. All right, Archives Sig Series. Retired Player Edition. And it is... Hall of Famer Rod Carew, three out of 24. California Angels edition. That's going to go to Richard J. Nice old school auto. I think the AL batting title is, uh, is named after him. Who's the NL batting title named after? All right, Topps Chrome Black. We got Chad's favorite player, Kyle Seeger. There's Braylon Marquez. And there's rookie Jared Kalanick. 68 out of 99. Nice rookie for the Mariners. That's going to go to TJ. All right, and our final card here. Let's 
Steve Locke saying, Rod Carew is the best. I tried to bat left-handed as a kid because of Rod Carew. All right, final hit of the break is a Mariner, Edgar Martinez for TJ. Nice, Mariners legend there. All right. Okay, that's that, boys and girls. So now let's do some randomizing. There's a little, some little housekeeping we got to do afterwards here. Um, this is a wax party break. So here's what I'm going to do. I think, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do the wax. Uh, I'm just going to do one list for this one. Just because the secondary prize is not super huge. It's just those uh, non-baseball cards from Ginter. So the wax party will be the name on top. Second name will get those uh, non-baseball cards. Oh, including that little out of five mini of, of Leo Kelly, social media star Leo Kelly. So that's a train whistle for somebody as well. So let's gather all the names, one through 30. New dice, new list. And good luck, fingers crossed. Let's randomize that list. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck, everybody. Six and a two, eight times. So second place, a lot of sad faces here, but I appreciate you getting in. Second place, consolation prize. It's not the wax party royal, but you do get those non, uh, those non-numbered, non-numbered, those uh, non-baseball cards, like from Ginter and Gypsy Queen, and uh, this little guy who apparently is, uh, is the Shirley Temple King. He reviews Shirley. He reviews non-alcoholic beverages for kids. There you go. I'm sure his parents will make him continue doing that long after he gets over it. <laughs> Royal, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And there you go. And the name on top, after eight, will get the wax party spot. And that's going to be... That's going to be Nick Koba. Congrats to you, Nick. You are in the wax party, a chance at winning some really nice prizes. You're going to be guaranteed something, a random something. Whole prize list is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check that out. Grand prize is pretty amazing. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Oh, no. I won't see you next time just yet because I want to do a recap. This break was an hour and a half long. I got to do a recap. All right, so there, there were your hits. Some pretty nice stuff. It's Andrew Vaughn. Some old school autos. Out of five, Tanner Hawk. Dylan Carlson, orange auto. That box is pretty good. Prospect Joey Gallo was pretty cool. Nice dual autograph, Jameson Tyon, Garrett Cole, Pirates Edition. Got the Andrew Heaney as well, old school Andrew Heaney. And then uh, the Donner's Optic Baseball was a hot box. Two, three, four, and five. And there you have it. Now, thank you very much. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.